Today's video is going to be on making the trench panels for trench rescue. We're going to make these uh, composite. It's not the actual materials, but how they're uh, made or put together as composite. As this is based on uh, Ron's method from USAR. Um, so he seems to be uh, uh, the one that's kind of leading the way on trench. And uh, we're kind of adopting that here in Florida and I think everywhere else in the nation. So how we're going to get started is we're going to have our 14 ply three quarter inch Arctic birch fin form. I got this from Chesapeake. Um, I'll put a link to their uh, company where I ordered it from um, in the video. And then we started by going 18 inches out from the ends and putting blue masking tape down the center. So it was 18 inches on either side. All right, that's because the piece that's gonna go on there is gonna be a 12 inch wide piece of LVL. All right, so we went 18 inches and we marked our masking tape. Same thing on this foot. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and sand the middle of this, not to make it smooth, but actually to rough it up because we're gonna attach our LVL to the center with tie bond three glue. So we'll show you what that looks like here in a minute. Um, but we're gonna get the sanding. So 18 inches on either end. We mass it off because we're gonna sand between the lines, rough it up a little bit to hopefully make that adhere, uh, the adhesion or the, the connection a little better for the, for the adhesive. Uh, so here we go. All right, so we're gonna be using this little orbital, orbital sander here. Um, and we have uh, 80 grit sandpaper on it. So it's just something I found and I grabbed it just to rough it up a little bit. Uh, all right, we'll get the sand and show you what it looks like. All right, so after sanding, uh, we just roughed it up a little bit. Just took the finish off, really. Like I said, that's gonna be better for the glue um, or the adhesive that we're gonna use to bond the LVL to the board. Uh, it up a little bit, and now we're gonna to tack cloth it, wipe it dry, or wipe all the uh, dust off, and then put our LVL on. All right, to apply the adhesive, we're gonna use this little four inch cheap brush that we bought, and we are gonna use uh, Tight Bond 3. So we're using the three because it is water resistive. All right. So let's go ahead and put this on. All right, so we have our LVL on the bottom. I'm gonna flip it over to the top. On the, on the table first, and then we put our glued fin form on top of the LVL. We're doing that because we're going to screw from the panel down into the upright or the LVL. All right, so this is an example of what the LVL looks like. So the laminated veneer lumber, just so you know, it's the part that we cut off. So we cut these to length at nine and a half feet. We did that so when you interlock them, you have 18 inches from the ends. So they stack up real nice if you have to put one horizontal. All right, but we're going to show you what we did for the nailing pattern or the screwing pattern rather. So There's 26 screws that go into this, the back side of this. It doesn't add any strength to the board or to the system itself, but it allows the adhesive to bond. So nice tight seals. You'll notice that all the glue will start squirting out of all the edges around it. Uh, when we go ahead and screw it down, but we're gonna use uh, one and five eight deck screws, all right? And we're gonna put them in a, or 26 of them in, and we made a template make it easier for us to go ahead and know where the screws go so we're spaced out evenly so we'll go ahead and put that on and show you what that looks like all right so what we did is we ripped a piece of plywood at exactly 12 inches by eight feet all the way down and then i pre-drilled the holes to space them out all right evenly all the way across so we did the math on all of them and we wrote them down right here's the board All right, so we made our little, did our little measurements here. So we came two in, two inches from either end. All right, so you see two and 94. 
and then these and then all those numbers are exactly spaced 11 and a half inches from each other all right so they're spaced nice and evenly so we just did the math like you said um so the first one we started with was two and then the, we split the difference between two and 13.5 and it gave us 6.75 obviously and then we went 11 and a half inches from there all the way down um, so instead of just keep doing that math over and over again we made a template all right so we'll go ahead and give us a little put a little drill bit on here just to mark it so we know where the screws go and then uh we'll attach it ready All right, so we made our little marks for our screws. As you can see, it goes all the way up. All right, so that's all we did. Just kind of made a little score mark in there so we can uh, know where the screws go. Just speed up our process here a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and screw it in. All right, so we got all 26 screws in. One and five eighths deck screws. You can see you spaced out pretty even. Looks everything looks good. All right, let's go ahead and take her off the table and spin it around. See what it looks like on the other side. All right, so you can see the remnants of all the adhesive getting squeezed out of the ends with the screws. So we'll just let it all kind of drip out there. I'll lay it down on the upright for a little bit. But it looks good. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and cut our panel corners at 45s. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to three inches, our little speed square here, make a mark with our paint pen, flip it three inches, mark with the paint pen, and then we're gonna slide this out, use that as a little guide, and then we're gonna run our saw against it and uh, make our cuts right here. So that is going to be gone. And after we're done with that, we're going to, once we cut that, we're gonna go ahead and put our rope holes in here so that's going to be four inches from the ends four inches out so right about here's where our rope holes are going to go four and four so we'll go ahead and drill our half inch hole right there all right so let's see how it turns out All right, so we just completed our cut on the end and we drilled our rope hole. You see it right there, four inches on the center. All right, so we'll continue to do that in all four corners and we'll be done. Uh, I was going to end the video with um, the whalers that we made. So this is also LVL, laminated veneer lumber. It started out as the upright, same size, 12 by 1.75 by 12 feet long. All right, so we left them in length. We ripped each individual piece seven inches in width. We then glued it with the same adhesive, the type tight bond three, and then we weighted it for it to uh, go ahead and in here. So there's four individual. You can tell there's four LVL stacked together to make a, make it up since they're 1.75. Um, like I said, we ripped them seven inches wide, left them 12 feet long. So if we need them to cut to a certain length for the trench, we're just going to go ahead and just cut them off. And for that, we're going to use a beam cutter that attaches to a uh, circular saw or a skill saw. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you that in the video with what that looks like. Um, and those are going to be our laminated veneer whalers.